Hey guys, Alexander Williamson here with the secret history inside your aquarium. So, today I want to talk about a couple things, and they involve the history of evolution of species and how they differ. Also, we're going to go over the differences between uh, baby or breeding, I should say, uh, crystal shrimp and bee shrimp versus neocaridina shrimp. So, in this tank currently, the only pregnant shrimp that we have are golden bee shrimp. And let me try to find you guys one of those. One moment. I see where she is. And we had, at least earlier today, we had three pregnant uh, female golden bee shrimp. And this one here is losing her eggs, as in she's giving birth. So you can see there's still a couple in her belly there. Uh, but she's almost done giving birth. Her color has turned back to more of a golden color. Um, and also you can see that there are little blue Neocaridina, blue dream shrimp everywhere. So what's going on here? Why don't they mix? Well, first of all, you can see there's different age groups too of the blue uh, dreams. So there's, there's some that are super teeny that are over on the wall. You can see that over there. And then there's some, they were born just the other day, and then there's some that are not so super teeny that are probably three or four weeks old. And then we've got these little critters. And this appears to have blue on it and white on it. So you might be thinking, okay, what the heck is going on here? You got a mother that is golden colored they're different species they can't breed well do you remember that there were blue bolt shrimp in this tank at one point so blue bolt shrimp are similar enough to the golden bee shrimp that they can impregnate them and when they have babies it's completely different than when Neocaridina have babies. So here too, we have a little red baby in the gravel there. Now earlier I saw a little, uh, what color was it? Red and white striped baby. And I was really excited because that means that the two different gold bee shrimp mothers, which seem to have gotten pregnant around the same time, had babies and some of them here's another one right up here here's another red one if we can get it in focus come on or is it a gold one i haven't seen any golds yet let's see here it's gold so the gold ones are going to be or red are going to be clearly from the shrimp you would expect that right but since one of them mated with a blue bolt shrimp you get the mix of that little teeny one that we saw over here with the blue stripes the clear with the blue stripes or white with blue stripes I should say and then we also have if you look here we have a red with white stripes so this is a very young like just hatched today probably uh, crystal shrimp and there we've got the blue striped one and we're wondering what the heck is going on has the shrimp world gone crazy no so basically uh bee shrimp bolt shrimp they have babies and they are able to they have babies in a fashion where the babies come out in multiple different colors and the babies they don't mix like in neocaridina you get a mix where all the babies are just some sort of mutt mix a lot of times reverting back to nature well with these guys they don't revert like that they actually they actually stay in their own color groups for the most part sometimes they change a little bit but uh they they stay within 
what what the mother or the father looked like and from there they grow up so it's just kind of a cool little thing that this golden bee mother that we saw must have mated with a crystal shrimp the crystal shrimp must have given birth uh you know and and we'll, we can find out if we could find them all and count them we could find out which gene is dominant and it may be that you know maybe the crystal the crystal reds are dominant and in that case you'd expect 75 percent uh or more of them to be uh just looking just like their their parents the red and the white stripes but the golden bees must have a an ancestry with crystal reds in them because we're not seeing total dominancy we're seeing i'm guessing 25 or 50 50 either 25 percent or 50 50 split of the colors so we've got little gold shrimp and little uh red and white shrimp and so the red and white shrimp are going to be coming from one mother now the other mother i would assume is going to have gold shrimp and blue and white or blue and some combination of that because she made it with a blue shrimp so unlike the neo caradino where if you have a blue mate with a red usually you just get reverts back to one color or you get some muddied reds or whatever uh Instead, we get these adorable little uh, clones of their parents, and they have uh, a bit longer to mutate because Neocaridina mutate right then and there. They're going to be some sort of mix of the genes that usually expresses itself in a wild way. Whereas here's a blue dream. And you could see that that baby that we had was some combination of that blue dream and expressed itself as such. So now that those have mixed, those are going to be called Mischlings. And that just means that it has one parent from one uh, type of Caridina shrimp and one parent from another. And so usually it's like a black... Uh, crystal or red crystal mixed with say uh a taiwan bee of some sort or a bolt and they did that to try to make the gene pool stronger but now those babies if they breed with each other you might get out of this baby if if it mated with its sibling if this baby on the glass here that i can't get in focus come on if that baby there on the glass mated with its sibling that looks like that, even though they're both red striped, there's a chance that they could produce 25% blue bolt shrimp. Now, they would have the genetics of all these other shrimp, but they that would be hidden. And so that's why it's important when you get Caridina shrimp or Neo Caridina, but really with Caridina shrimp, that you know that the line is true, that you're not getting Mischlings, because Mischlings can throw all sorts of stuff and you don't know what's in their background. Now, that being said, Mischlings are also far, far more stable of lines. They've not been in, interbred endlessly for for however long, you know, since, since the color morph has been around. And that makes them far more stable. So... We also have over here, I don't know if they've hatched yet, but they were all pregnant around the same time, so there's a good chance that they did. Uh, we may have some babies over here also from the blue bolts and other shrimp, other Caridina shrimp, I should say. Now, this tank has so many babies in it right now that I can't even, with the King Kong Reds and stuff, I can't even put my net in there without catching one of the little teeny babies that are swimming around the water right now. All these little teeny clear ones, which I can't tell what they're going to be yet. But, that's good news that they're reproducing. And in this tank, it'll be totally different genetics, because the gold bees are not in here. But we do have the blue bolts, we do have the black 
King Kongs and Black Pandas, and we have the Red Pandas and the Red King Kongs. And so those will make their own mix of babies, just like the other tank. And once in a while, you'll get a mix that's like half blue, half half uh, gold, or something like that that's, that's really out there. And that's why those shrimp, like the dancing man with the crazy pattern uh, that looks like a little man dancing and whatnot, that's why those take more time to develop is you have to find a mutation like that and then you have to find a match or a close enough match that it doesn't get rid of that gene and that it can have babies and you can uh, cross their babies back with their own siblings and try to find a match now right here we have an all red shrimp and that's not a cherry shrimp I can guarantee that so that is likely a King Kong, uh, which wouldn't surprise me because the blues and the blues, the blue bolts, the King Kongs, all the Caradinas at one point or another have been together. So this is going to be a total surprise in what I get. Or if it looks like maybe there's white on the head and maybe we're just going to get a crystal that is super, super red. Um, but you can see that there's babies all over in here. And that some of them... Yep, they have white heads. And very red bodies. So I'm going to have to talk to Rob and see if that has a name. I mean, for all I know, it does. Now, another shrimp that's in here that has crossed is the babalti or that that cannot cross i should say is the babalti babalti shrimp look like this when they're young real boring clear and the adults are uh, a neon green color and so basically you'll see uh the adults either a neon green or an orange color but they are a different caradina species and they cannot be crossed so I know that's a lot of information, and it doesn't tell me for sure what's coming my way, except for to keep an eye out for the ratios color-wise, and then maybe I can figure out who the parents were, even if they're in a different tank now. Because none of these crystals that I've seen, unless there's one hiding really well, and I know how many there are in here, um, unless one of them has hidden it really well there are no pregnant crystals so far so it's got to be the golden bees so that'll be an interesting thing to see how that shakes out this is the the biggest female in the tank and she's easy to keep track of because she's got the two dots on her back um but it would be very cool if we got some all reds with just white heads or something because i i maybe maybe that's common i don't know but i haven't seen it uh around as, as a common thing and so if that's what i get i'm going to try to breed those together like before it could be the recessive or less common gene and maybe i only get 25 of them or maybe it's so recessive i don't get any of them the first round but the second round with those babies that have the ideal look, once you start crossing them back with ones that you know for sure, you got to separate them, keep them separated, and keep track three generations away, then you can start getting that shrimp that you wanted. So I know that's a lot, and I, I, I should have probably drawn it out for you guys. But... Uh, <clears throat> Maybe I'll do that in the future in another video coming out soon. But for now, I just wanted to give you that overview of why you'll be seeing some kind of freaky deaky shrimp in this tank. And uh, hopefully they grow to adulthood because no Caradinas have in this tank yet. And that's not saying that like I did something wrong and they haven't. It's, it's saying that basically they just haven't had that opportunity yet. So... Up here, we also have the Blue Dream Coal Tank. So these are any Blue Dreams that just weren't up to uh, my standards. 
and I do that to keep my line as blue and true as possible so you can see there and this is a good example of probably a carbon uh, a carbon maybe a carbon really maybe just a carbon uh, probably crossed with a blue dream this is from my old stock before Lucas Brett sent me some and that gives you these either striped or muddied but they're not consistent enough to be like oh that's a cool pattern on that one it doesn't replicate uh, unfortunately across the board like that like it does in the Caradinas so Caradinas you got to spend more time but you have more consistency of what you will get in that time Whereas these guys, the Neo Caradinas, you can't for sure predict. And you get everything from like these lighter gals here to darker from the same brood. So that's a probably that is as close to a black blue as you're going to get. Like a uh, that's that's basically a carbon blue carbon, really, which. Uh, if it were a little better quality, those are pretty hard to come by because they're kind of a random uh, creation. But if you have enough of anything in a bunch of different locations, uh, you can find a mate for it that maybe I find one that looks kind of similar, but it's not quite the same. And this is a female, so she could have eggs. So I should keep her, I should move her now if I want more of her genes with the Neo Caradina. <laughs> and then let them breed. So maybe I move them over into this tank and let them do their thing with the next dark blue that I find. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? So that's just an overview of the difference in genetics between Neocaridina and Caridina. And uh, basically, one gives you muddled mutts and wild uh, reverts with a few interesting pretty uh, combos that are not stable in the long term unless you are very selective and culling and that's the neo caradina line but the caradina line if you can keep track of it for up to three generations you can make it so that the recessive gene comes back out but you're going to need four tanks for each generation probably uh, or at least two but four to be safe and separate it out knowing which ones have that hidden gene because their parent was whatever trait you're looking for so say the blue is the recessive then you know that even though those were red it had a blue mother you got to put it in a tank and say these all had blue mothers and when they mate with other ones that have blue mothers maybe a quarter then will be blue but that means that they have none of that red gene in them left because it would have overruled and so then you can count on from there out that being a line now that's not the same as a blue bolt line because it came to it in a roundabout way through michelings which are half and halves that have diverse genes so i know this is all kind of complicated but i thought i'd try to give a stab at explaining it and showing you some of the shrimp coming out right now in my tanks so I know that's confusing, and uh, before you ask, I don't know, like, if this Caradina has babies with that Caradina, what exactly it's going to look like, I just don't know. Now with Neo Caradina, I do know, and for the most part, you don't get what you would like from a crayon. You're not going to mix a uh, yellow and red and get an orange, but... Uh, you, most of your stuff comes from a red line or a chocolate line. Now you can see this shrimp almost has a purple hue to it. Uh, at least it does in, in my real life. Let's see if we can get that to show up more. Can you kind of see that there? More of a periwinkle one, the little one. Um, so that's just kind of interesting. That means it has red uh, chromatophores or uh, pigment sections on it. So... All of this is a bit of randomness and then selecting and keeping track of the roots, which I'm totally not doing in this tank, so I'm not going to worry about it. But with these guys, I may try to uh, take those Michelings that are little teeny babies now and cross them back with each other, all the ones that look the same, and see what I get. 
and then I will know which one mated with which. But that, you know, takes a while. With Caridina, they take even longer than Neocaridina to reproduce. So, a <clears throat> little interesting, but it's also cool that with Caridina, they look just like their parents, or, or just like their adult form when they were born, whereas Neocaridina a lot of times are clear and have to gain color later. So I hope you guys learned a little something. I hope I didn't confuse you too much. I confused myself a little for a second there. <laughs> and uh, I will talk to you all later. Have a great day, and I hope you have a fishy week. Talk to you later. Bye.